is Lyme Disease Awareness Month. And this morning, we're gonna talk a little bit more about Lyme disease and also a local partnership that's happening to uh, really get, especially a lot of our girls in Kern County to understand uh, what to look out for. And joining me now is Jody Hudson, Director of Major Giving, and Heather Evans with the Girl Scouts of Central California South, here to talk more about this. Good morning to you both, appreciate you coming on. Thank you so much for having us. So Jody, let's just first talk a little bit about yeah. what is Lyme disease? So Lyme disease is a bacterial infection that you can get if you've been bit by turkey, um, turkey, a dirty tick. And that is what happened in my daughter's case. Um, for 10 years, she went uh, misdiagnosed. And then finally in 2017, she was diagnosed with Lyme disease. And that's really, you know, one of the main things why we are here today is getting out that education and awareness about Lyme disease, how to prevent it. And if you are bit by a tick, what do you do to um, help? Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about the symptoms yeah. because you just talked about how uh, your daughter was misdiagnosed and she passed right. away in 2018. 2018. 2018. Uh -huh. uh, so talk a little bit about the, the common symptoms and what a lot of people may dismiss Exactly. Um, when they actually do in fact have this. Right, right. So Lyme disease is called the great imitator because it masks so many different things. You can start out feeling like you have a summer flu, um, you know, body aches. Um, those type of symptoms, just really feeling tired. In my daughter's case, it was um, a lot of inflammation. And because she was a um, great athlete, the doctors just dismissed it as, oh, it's either growing pains or an overworked you know, athletic um, body. So it wasn't really until we got the proper testing done that we found out it was Lyme disease. But that is the hard thing about Lyme disease because it does imitate so many other diseases. Yeah, and I know that you're trying to um, get the word out. I Correct. mean, obviously there are people here. We have ticks in California, yes. in our yes. area. I mean, this is, not, uh, this is not unusual. This is right. something that we all need to be aware of, especially if we were out camping or or just mm -hmm. um, you know, out on a trail right. and, and out and about in nature, it's it's something we need to be paying attention uh, to. You have really tried to you know make it your mission to yeah. to get this word out to let people know, and you, right. there, a partnership is formed. Yes. So when Alex passed away in 2018, I um, started the Alex Hudson Lyme Foundation, and my first thought was, how am I going to be able to get it out into the community, into um, families and and people to really understand um, about Lyme. Lyme disease. And so I thought, who better to be Lyme ambassadors than the Girl Scouts? And I yes. reached out to Russell, the CEO, and talked to him about a partnership. And that's how we came up with the um, Lyme curriculum. So Heather, talk a little bit about the Lyme curriculum that, you know, our Girl Scouts uh, are, are, are learning about and, and just, you know, getting informed about what to look out for. Yes. So Jody, in partnership with our council staff, mm -hmm. developed Project Tick which is um, an educational curriculum with awareness to um, the symptoms of Lyme disease as well as prevention. So in our patch program, girls can earn this patch by discovering, connecting, and taking action with learning about Lyme disease. So they learn what to look out for, how to prevent getting a tick bite. If they do get a tick bite, how to safely remove the tick with a trusted adult. And then they become the ambassadors to their friends, family, and community about bringing awareness to Lyme disease. How important is this for, for you to see oh my this gosh. curriculum form? So important because um, on the patch itself, it has the Alex Hudson Lyme Foundation logo mm -hmm. along with the Girl Scouts. So, you know, it's Alex's legacy. Um, of just helping others to make sure that they don't, you know, get Lyme disease like she did. And what, for Heather, what are our, how are our girls responding to this? Yeah, to this it's a great resource because outdoors is very important to our girls. Right. We have campsites um, in uh, Shaver Lake area, so they take this curriculum before they go to camp, so that they know the best way to prevent getting those tick bites. Right. All right. An important curriculum. Glad to see this partnership. Yes.